Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to reset your Windows laptop running Windows 10 and also securely erase the hard drive. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, in today's video we're going to go about securely erasing our hard drive in our Windows laptop. This is running Windows 10. This will apply to both versions of Windows 10, both the Home and Pro versions. Enterprise, I'm not entirely sure about because I don't use Enterprise, but the theory should be the same. So let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing we need to do is to get into the laptop itself. Now, if you're having problems getting into the laptop, you will need a, a bootable Windows key, USB stick, CD, that kind of thing. If you want more information on that kind of stuff, click on the link up here and we'll go through it in more detail. So if you can get into your laptop or tablet, then it's super simple. All you need to do is click on the start bar or the start flag, go to the settings cog and go to update and security. From update and security, you can go into the recovery menu on the left hand side. And then you've got the options in the recovery menu. So if you want to get into safe mode and do something different, you can choose the option at the bottom, but we want reset this PC. So this is the general description. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose whether to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. So that's absolutely perfect because we want to reinstall Windows and we want to remove our personal files. So let's choose get started. Now we get another option. So the option is either keep my files or remove everything. Now the safest way for security purposes is remove everything. This is perfect if you're selling your PC on maybe eBay, Facebook Marketplace, taking it to a secondhand store to trade in, that kind of thing. Removing everything is definitely the safest way. It's not the quickest way. So if you want a quick method, then to be honest with you, the best way is probably do the top option with uh, keep my files and maybe get yourself a secondhand or even a new SSD. These are really cheap these days, 15 to 30 pounds for a 120 or 240 gig drive. Or alternatively, go to the CEX website if you're in the UK and pick up maybe an old 500 gig hard drive. Again, 15 pounds or so, very low postage. That will save you a lot of time. When you do the reset option with remove everything, it will take a long time. So let's choose remove everything. So now we get another set of options. So just remove my files. So if your PC's having problems, that's the one to choose. But we want to remove the files, completely erase it, clean slate, and no traces of data left behind. So remove files and clean the drive. Now, as it says, this may take a few hours, but will make it harder for someone to recover your remove files. Use this if you're recycling your PC. So again, this will take a long time, depending on the size of the drive the technology of the drive, whether it's an SSD or a hard disk drive, it could take a very long time. But we're gonna go for the long version, just for the sake of science. So there we go, ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, any changes made into your settings, this will take a while. They're kind of trying to drum this into us, so it will take a while. So once it's done, your PC will restart. So this is your last chance. If you're not sure, don't do anything, click cancel. But if this is sure, you definitely wanna do this and you've backed up everything you need to back up, then click on the reset button and cross your fingers. There we go. So this will take a few minutes and your PC will restart. Now this is probably a really good time to go off and get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever, watch a couple of YouTube videos and let this do its thing in the background. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Okay, so we're back. So literally this is, I started this about six o'clock PM. It's now 9.30, so three and a half hours later. And we're just now getting back into setting this up. So my advice, actually that works out roughly about an hour per 100 gigabytes. It's a 320 gigabyte drive in there. So take that as an example of how long it could possibly take you. So three and a half hours is uh, it's quite a long time. In the process, I've managed to go for a 20 mile drive, drank four cups of tea, half a tub of ice cream, and a quarter of a pack of biscuits, plus numerous other things. So think about it before you do the secure boot. 
Anyway, let's finish off this setup. So yes, we're in the United Kingdom. Now actually, this is probably a good point. You could actually leave the system like this if you're selling it on. Yeah, let's stick to United Kingdom. Now obviously you can continue doing the voice setup or do it manually. So we get to wait yet again as it does the same thing. Like I said, at this point, you could, if you wanted to, actually just leave it in this state and pass it on or sell it on. You could probably speak to the buyer and say, look, I've reinstalled Windows, I haven't done the setup, it's just ready for you to turn on and go. Or alternatively, you can set it up completely, it's entirely down to you and the seller, really. Right, we'll just go for an offline account. Don't want any of that. And um, we'll call it um, E4, uh, 5410. No password, we won't worry about that because if we are selling it on, we don't want someone to be locked out as soon as they get it. Uh, no Cortana. No speech recognition. No, no, basic, no, no, and no. So we've said no to pretty much everything because at the end of the day, it's not going to be our PC. We're sending it on to someone else to use possibly. So you don't want to make decisions on their behalf. So that's it, it's pretty much done. It'll go through, do another couple of restarts, probably downloading updates, that kind of thing. But essentially, that is it. So you let me know in the comments, do you think this has been worth it? This has been three and a half hours of my life that I'm not going to get back, that I've done the uh, secure race. In hindsight now, definitely, definitely, 100%, I would have been far better off spending £10 on a second-hand drive, putting that in there, taking the old drive out, taking it in the garden, and putting a bullet through it, or putting the angle grinder on it, something along those lines if I was really paranoid about the data. Realistically there wasn't anything on there which was even remotely sensitive so I could have quite easily passed it on but I thought I'd make this video just out of interest actually to see how long it would actually take. I've never done a secure race before so hopefully it's, uh, it's been uh, an eye-opener for you lot as much as it has been for me really. So the end result. I definitely wouldn't do it. I would definitely go and buy another drive. To be honest with you I'd probably get the SSD, put the SSD in there to make it a little bit faster as well because it is painfully slow on older systems so it is worth doing as an upgrade. Again I'll put links for SSDs and HDDs and all those kind of things I've been using in the video in the links below. In the meantime I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and this has been one of the slowest Windows installs I've ever done. Thanks for watching.